I asked your wife to do a little exercise, and I asked the staff to do the same exercise. On the green cards, I asked them to write what they like about Robert. And on the orange cards, what they didn't like about BB. And I want to preface something. This restaurant has to represent the both of you. It's both of yours. I feel like I, I do this every single day. I give this everything I have. And she is the one that inspires me to do these things. You give everything you have to this. There's nothing left for me. My goodness. Just show us something. And getting up every day, coming to work is not showing her. Th this is what people say about you. This guy, BB. Yes. Self-centered. Doesn't treat my mum as an equal. That obviously comes from a, one of your family, right? That came from our son. Arrogant, doesn't listen. Distant, angry, unwillingness to change or adapt. Yells instead of communicates. Stubborn, stuck on himself. Disrespectful, abusive verbally, in denial. Not a leader, no communication skills. Fake. How could that possibly be? Am I that terrible a person? Am I really that terrible? Apparently so. Apparently people think so. OK, I asked it on the green cards. Tell me about Robert, not BB. He's attentive. He's a great pawpaw. That means granddad, Grandpa. right? Robert is caring. Robert is sensitive. He's funny, passionate. 25 years ago, he was happy, joyful, and pleasant. That just shows you how much you've changed. Mm -hmm. The bad outweighs the good. Then I don't deserve this. You don't. Right now, today, you don't. Believe me, you don't. You don't deserve me being here. No, I don't. You don't deserve her. All I've ever wanted to do was deserve you. You make me want to be a better person. All of these things right here on this board, I've been talking to you about for years. Years. And you haven't heard me. You need to take this seriously. I can't be told to shut the f up anymore. I can't be told that my feelings don't matter. I can't, I can't, I just can't anymore. This has to change. Tomorrow, I don't want to see that person. I want to see the person that is on this side, right? That cares about everything she feels. Yes. Thank you. Have a good day. I want to take this jacket off. I can't wear this anymore. <laughs> OK. OK. So we're just going to cover your jacket for now, OK? Take your jacket your... off. All this time, I thought I was doing something good. I got it all wrong. <sighs> Deep breath. But I know I can't keep doing this. because I will lose you. I'm not entirely sure I already have it. I've got a lot to think about tonight, and I've got to figure out how to move forward with this. I just don't have a clue how to do it. Let's just go home, OK? Let's go home. All right, so let's start by saying yesterday, Tough day all around for everybody, right? Yes, sir. I didn't think the problem was going to point at me so much as it was the restaurant. Yeah. I didn't even conceive 
that the biggest problem in the restaurant was right here with the cards last night. That had the effect. Okay. That was the mirror I needed to look in. Because I see who Chef BB really is. And I need to fix that. I wanted to take off that jacket so bad last night. And I didn't wear it today because I felt like I didn't deserve to wear that coat. You remember all those green parts, right? Yeah. Everybody loved Robert. They didn't love BB, right? All right I don't sir. need Chef BB anymore. You don't. Should we put Chef BB to bed? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Allison. Yes. Oh, you're going to make me do this, aren't you? I am. That's yours. All right, so I'm going to start this off. All right. Not the same person from 25 years ago. Chef BB does not talk respectfully. Angry. Arrogant, doesn't treat my mom as an equal. This is a new day. Goodbye, Chef BB. Thank you, sir. Hey, that's more than I could have ever hoped. Last night was tough. My husband was broken, but Robert did lots of inward soul searching, and I feel that this could be the beginning of a brand new day. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Robert. All right. I'm at Mama Pearl's, where we've taken big steps forward. Now it's time to do the same with the food, starting with some new Cajun dishes. All right, so yesterday, you give me a mushroom. They tasted slimy and old, so I thought we'd do a uh, mushroom po' boy. A mushroom po' boy? Yeah, mushroom po' boy. Buttermilk, hot sauce, mm -hmm. little Cajun spice. What a great oh, idea. This is seasoned flour, just salt and pepper. Piece of bread. Beautiful. Mustard aioli, mushrooms, pickled onions, and arugula and french fries. Look at that height, shape, color. This is beautiful. This is something I would be all over. Pick that up and oh. eat it. Oh my god. Wow. That's, that's a wow, that's a wow sandwich. Mm -hmm. no, and that's it costs, fantastic. It costs one dollar and ninety-one cents. No way. For this whole thing, we're gonna sell it at twelve dollars and will give us a sixteen percent food cost, ten dollars and nine cents in that pocket. Everyone, your bucket. Thank you. Beautiful. The mushrooms really bring so much texture, texture. to it, right? Mm -hmm. Here's one that I'm going to really throw your head into a tailspin. An open-faced meatloaf with nice. collard greens. OK. Yes. He's not. I'll go, I'll go with you, right? I know. But it's, a, but it's a Cajun meatloaf. OK. I'm going to take Texas toast, my meatloaf that's already cooked, pimento cheese, a little bit of my gravy, so far, so good, right? Yes, it looks great. Collard greens. Oh, boy. Coming in. Look at that. Go for it. Get there in, get go. the bread, get the whole nine. Oh, yes. Costs $2.05 to make. We're selling it for $13. Gives us a 16% food cost and $10.95. Right there. In your pocket. In that pocket. I would have never. There's a lot this. going on on that plate, but it's again, it's, it's all working together yes. to get the. Yes, to get the. All right, okay. now I'm going to go and check in my design team because okay. I got a restaurant to open. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. I did not realize how intense it was going to be. I know that Becky and I can move forward. We can be a team. And for the first time in a long time, I am very excited and confident about tomorrow. Robert Irvine, from the bottom of my heart, my family and I will be forever grateful for everything that you have done for us in the last two days. I love you. I love you too. Keep your eyes tightly closed. 
I'm gonna stop. Put your hands down, keep your eyes closed. I know the last two days has been really intense. Are you ready to see your new restaurant? Yes. Open your eyes. Wow. Oh my God. Look at the crawfish. Oh my God. It's absolutely breathtaking. Walk around, it's your restaurant. Oh, look how beautiful. These look like real New Orleans street lamps. Yes. All new lights, all new tables, new walls, new. Everything. It's gorgeous. This is what I call a classy restaurant. Yes. How did you do this so quickly? Wow. These are awesome. Tomorrow's gonna happen, and I can't wait to get there. Yeah. And I can't wait to be there with my wife. See this guy, Becky? Yeah. Was that the same guy you had yesterday? No, not at all. This guy I really like. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Hello. How we doing? Hey. 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 Enjoy yourselves and have a fantastic time. Yeah. Let's go. Welcome. Good evening. Wow. We're going right here, sir. Right on. Thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. Enjoy. The place is beautiful. <laughs> it's so nice. This restaurant is exactly what Colorado Springs needs. This place is absolutely amazing. I've got goosebumps. How are we doing, guys? Doing great. We're glad you're here. Isn't it something? <laughs> what I'm looking for today is a team, not that guy I met yesterday, Chef BB. He's gone. Now it's all about the couple, Becky and Robert. Let's do this. Good evening, guys. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. My name's Becky, and I'm one of the owners of the restaurant. You guys all set to order, and you need another minute. Yeah. Rangoon for 10, thank you. Adding a meatloaf for table six. How are we doing, Mushroom Po' Boy? Meatloaf, two chipino, and a mushroom. Heard. Thank you, Mushroom Po' Boy. Steve, how are you holding up? All right, beautiful. Pork stew coming right now. I can't have ever had Cajun meatloaf before, but it's perfect. The Mushroom Po' Boy is so flavorful. I am kind of a big fan of vegetarian meals. So having mushrooms really hits the spot for me. I got chicken with dirty rice and Brussels sprouts. And are you a fan of it? Yes, the chicken's really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's one more change I want to see. Chef Bibi didn't listen to anybody. Tonight, I'm looking for a Chef Robert who listens to everybody. Is there any way we could add more Creole sauce to the black and chicken thighs? The folks are loving it. I'm going to let them know in the back. We'll get started on that right away. Beautiful. More Creole sauce on that chicken, guys. Someone asked if we could start making michelada. Michelada. Let's give it a try. Why don't you put a few out and see if anybody wants okay. to taste them? OK, sounds All good. Right. We're so grateful that Robert came here to help us to get where we are today. We are on our way. And those changes, the best changes, are still to come. I haven't really stopped the chills since I walked in the door. <laughs> I absolutely feel like I'm a part of this restaurant and that I have a place in this space right now. And it feels great. Yesterday, this was Chef Bibi's house. It was his way or the highway. But today, it's clearly Becky and Robert's restaurant. And together, they will make Mama Pearls a wild success. <목소리도> 우주에서 가장 재미있는 채널 디스커버리